Yeah, Lincoln Sugar Mine at the Dunno in the house of U Promotion, Black Roots, One Roberts Kids in Kingston, Jamaica. You don't know the original dance hall thing, the original lovers rock thing, the music for the world, African soldier, you know, been there, done that all over the world. You know, I say every time. Started all out with the African brothers, Tony Tough, yes, my first lead singer, man called Derek Howard, and a place called Delamere Avenue, Tony Martin Corner. Yeah, man, man like John Old Pastor and the man, they, you know, whole for youth on the corner, turn it up for them, like a guitar play, soul syndicate, you know, up there, so. You hear them with me, I play for my phone, and know. Take a look apart. And them thing I play for my phone, you know. Yeah, what's up? I'm in an interview right now, can you call back, please? Yeah, yeah, man, I'm gonna find it out, because that's how we do it, you know, and. African Brothers, you know, what a group, a roots group, sing for people like Micron Music, you know, started out 1969, you know, sing for people like Rupi Edwards, you know, Sir Cox and Dad, song like, Remember in Egypt, we were in bondage, Pharaoh wouldn't let us go. Father work miracles, send us some plagues, free us all, don't you know? Lead us, Father lead us, to that promised land. You know, we live in a world of sorrow, just wishing for a better tomorrow. The pains and the strains we bear, that seem to get worse each year. That was the roots too, they were have a song. A song said, Hey little girl, where do you wanna go? Was it? To a party or to a show? Well, I'm gonna take you to a party tonight. My baby. You gotta remember the one I never know, we African brothers, all right? Some more tune like that, and the thing gets sticky because, you know, them never do like the roots thing and the group and there was, you know, like very some of them and they just start singing and Cynthia Slash and with their VIP and it's a big dashiki thing and Mary Tone and really. And they really kind of choose the soul thing more than our thing. So we say, right, we are going to soul up. But I went to Sir Cox and that because I was a selector first you know, and I sound from a box boy to a selector, right, to a singer. So while I was playing all these songs, I was reading for Sir Cox and I was making up songs for them, not knowing that one day I would have really put them on record. So in 1973, 74, I went to Sir Cox and Dad and I told him, look, I don't want a new rhythm in I have the song for the rhythm that we alternately used to sing Pan and Ken Booth and John Hall. And he said, huh? Eh? Say, yeah, man, I'm start sing. Going round and you doing wrong. Why can't you understand? This should not be the way. Why won't you just get under bay? Jaja will see you true. Jaja is watching you. You know, and that was boo doo boo 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 And them call the general after that. But uh, we bring back the rhythm there, then alternately the rhythm, you know, I'm just a guy and they put say vanity pan that old King Cole was a merry old soul, a merry old soul was he. Old King Cole lost his gold, now he's crying, you see. Don't put your trust in vanity, for it will let you down. People have started noticing me now, because Papa Roots are played, and you know, him put Lincoln Miner on the record first, but my friend them know me as Sugar. So them say, no, you that tire. So I go back and tell him, say, no, look, put it as Sugar Miner, because all of my friend them know me as Sugar Miner. So I was also a goalkeeper, so you know, keep Major League Football fit. My area, my club, you know, famous in sports and all that, KC and, you know, them look a thing there and all past school ago, but the drop out called the music, we always had teeth for the music, go learn three electrical engineering and refrigeration and all them things there, but always a teeth for the studio, you know, Mama Lester, Mama Lou, big up, my mother, you know, give thanks, cause, you know, you roll out and you send me enough school and make something in our head still, and although you never push into the music, but, uh, you know, all time parents say, a foolishness, but no, I really take care of everybody, everybody nice. So from this studio one, I did my first album, Live Loving, you know. You haven't seen that first song of Live Loving? <laughs> yeah, man. come, 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 yeah, come listen up, da, 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 
Bada bada da ba boom da. The night is far spent, I tell you. And the day is at hand. Oh, oh yes. Let's cast away the works of darkness and put on the armor of light. Let's live in unity. Yeah. Ain't no strife, no envy. Let's live, loving, live, loving, always, always. But them never listen to me, you know, cause what war. And the place, but that was from my first album, Live Loving, Studio One, Chan. House is not a home, song like Come On Home. You know, then come to the famous Mr. DC, who was just booming up the place, you now cause the first big urban thing, you know. Coming from the country, so we tobacco Kali. Woke up on a DC, and wafi fool me. Don't you run now, youth man. You won't get away. And if you slip, you will slide. Hey, and if you run, you can't hide. Check it out, cause I've got my stick, alright. Stuck right in my hip now. I wanna hear you say, whoa, DC. Don't you touch my Kali. And the people them get mad. You see, the thing get away and government never too like it, but the people me love it, so they want to big it up. And up to now, that's one of the biggest tunes in Jamaica, right? And urban, it's a real thing that happens, because you know, the ghetto we live and people make them hustling by sending like a herb and every day when Buffo no come home, you know, say police holy well, man, you know, just some reality. Maxfield Park, ghetto we come from, you know, that them days are rough. Big up to Soul Syndicate, because. After, you know, studio one day, Fred McGregor, Ernest Wilson, Pablo, and Baga, and Silver Tones, because most of the general and the man they gone, I start, we're going to start back the whole studio one thing, and revive it. And when we do, come down Natty Dread, Fred did a sing good still, but I pure lovers, so I never to a sell so much. But when we sing, come down Natty Dread, come down Natty Dread, him sing a song, like, come now, sister, beg you, come right now. After the same rhythm, same flavor, it was a boom. And then after that, Freddie kick away and two of you start link up and do some wicked things. That means um, when you compare with the soul thing and your style of a yellow, your thing with a name, Dancehall. Yeah, me start up real Dancehall. Me born beside the Dancehall on Omar Road, Chisholm Avenue, 26 years, Champagne Land. So from I come home, sound did I play the night, sound I play the next week. We used to thief going to dance, dig out wolf for going to dance, you know, dance a dance, gate for going to dance, carrying steel on for going to dance. So, you know, some people start like a church and think, no disrespects. You can all go to church, but me start imitate Delroy Wilson. Me used to keep the dance now. After the dance, we used to set up cardboard box and Spanish pan cover, buckle stopper, you know, the box. Like, I mean, I sing all of the tune. And the pick them up, the come in, and I sing, like, I shall not, I shall not be moved. I shall not, I shall not be moved. Just like the tree. Planted by the water, I shall not be moved. Delroy Wilson on the first original dance hall man at Prince Buster. I am give it first. He wasn't the king, he was not the king, but I him at the end he built the king. Prince Buster built, started out everything and Coxon, right? But right so about dance hall, give me an idea how I'm started. How I'm started, how I'm started. Give it to you. I'm tell you I'm started now. Coxon used to go away. Coxon, Sir Coxon, let me start from sound, right? Sure, Cox needs to go away from farm work and bring back record. See? So when we bring out the fine record you now, them start playing it by sound. We have a little sound in the cabinet shop and thing. We start playing it. So we find say, a little place where them could have cut the tune now, make pan, pan dub now, Stanley Motor, Cantway, Scully, and Bunny and them and they teach me from them time. Bunny Lee and them and they. It's like, it's just a sound thing. Prince Buster have a sound, Cox have a sound. You know, they make up the tune and them little street, them little thing and go at this place to cut the tune because play it at the dance, they never make it fit if you go sell for record. Them just make that dub plate there, a Stanley motor for go play at the dance tonight. But Derek Carrier tell you about Lollipop Girl and how he get one sound and next sound couldn't get it and them teeth thought of them on the box and go, you know, with the whole history. So it was not about recording, so everything started about dance. So dance, I dance I like the original reggae thing in Jamaica. See? So, after Prince Buster now and Coxie start playing that now, 
It's like a man come on and tell them, say, but them things can't go for record for real, you know. So them say, hey. And them start, see them tune with the youth, them used to sing for them, for them little youth, them Bunny and Scully and Derek Carriott and them. They start put for record and start sell. So it was dancehall first. Now Prince Buster was the most innovative person in dancehall, because the first real dancehall to me who inspired me was a thing named Berksla. Pop 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 so Prince Ed, 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 Edwards and Sir George and them things they have Drew Creed, you know. But Sir Coxon was the dominant sound, okay what I'm saying? So he left from this and you have King Stitch now. But the King Stitch wasn't really a DJ, a selector. But while selecting the tune, he might introduce the tune and he might tell about Adam and Eve went up my sleeve and Mr. T for go some of them dancing. I go knock for all of them. And when the sound comes to my ear, I see Sir Coxon. So here it go now. I me, me not go through that long thing that I'm show you. Sir Coxon, number one son, originator of the song thing. Prince Buster, originator of the dance thing. See? I got to talk about King Stitch, the originator of selecting. See? Daddy, you are the first DJ, which was a selector turned DJ. So, Daddy, you are the real first DJ. Jayut are the first real chanter, although you have chanter before him, but him, he have some Jalai and enough more, man. See? I hear that Prince Farai and all them man there. See? I know them there they called Matuki and them man there with, with, with King Stitch, you know. Don't forget them man there, but a King Stitch was a king and he's still the king. So it come right up to the whole of them man there. Dillinger, and the first man who changed the style, DJ style from long time style. Like, how do you use good this time playing? I was thinking more And And the style changed when Dillinger come and say, so me sat up on my CV 200 And that changed the style, right? So all of them man they build up the thing Come right up to When I put dance bro on it That dance man was the inspiration of you, like we But not from a dancehall point of view But from a classical point of view Dance man was a classical part of we Then, when we start here dance bro myself You know, and we start child song like dance bro, you know and remember the first time you get a job was singing a dance band tune, you know. Now I know that you're not smart. How you said goodbye and now you're sad. Baby, don't do it. Don't break your own heart. Even though I give you another chance. Oh, girl, even though I give you another dance band, a king. You see what I say? Like them youth, they make a big, he was sort out them thing and till we catch our thing. We have a Ken Boot, Alton Ellis. So, the whole sound thing come up to that. They have Papa Roots and them sound to start coming, they start to have Uri. All the DJ them come off of Daddy Rye, you know. Ranking Joe, Uri, Ranking Trevor, let's name them, the whole of them. Come right down to Lone Ranger. So, you, Daddy Rye control the whole of for them thing, right? So you leave from that now, but still not sing and Adam in here, don't you? Because you have Alton and Tune used to play Eptones and them things they play. Just to sing and Adam in here, right? But here come Lincoln Sugar Mind and the dance thing now. Boof! The king arrived. See? All of them man they in dance here, them build me up. I learn from all of them call. And I come and live in the Pam Papa Roots. Live from Stereograph, first thing of Papa Roots, first thing of Stereograph. Black Roots song, you promotion, history. See? Sing G style star, the first crew, you promotion crew. See? That means it was 1979 after we left Coxon Farm. One thing, you promotion broke out now, Black Roots production. China Smith started with, and the Soul Syndicate by, by, by playing a free album for me. For not not Channel One, Get All is the first album I produced. Children sign it up. I sing the first album for Jammies. Same time by Swapping Time, Bitter Sweet. You know, it was at Tubby's, we started our powerhouse label, we started with the Channel One with them start. Jeremy and we did it when we start. You know what I mean? Name it, name it. Fatty Six Terminator, we did it when we start. You know, we almost the tune for everybody. Winston Riley, Bunny Lee, you know, Gussie Clark, which we call it now royalty and all them things, but we still do it and it spread out and it established in our way. 
So at you promotion now start a sound, you promotion sound, champion sound, you them start following me because them sister a young youth start producing himself. They never know that could happen before because them used to have tunes say, leave the leave the studio youth, you can't play bass and all that. But when we come now we change that we open the door for youth going to the studio. And there comes Barry Brown. I'm not so lucky like lucky lucky number one. She come in the River Jordan number one. She stand by my spliff tail, man hungry. And so we are doing 20 tough rod tailor. And yeah, so we are doing, I'll come right up, I'll come back and say, lick a John, and I eat. You see, I'll say, yeah, I'm a bowler, and I eat. I'll say, tennis saw, and I eat. I'll say, nitty gritty, and I eat. I'll say, garnet silk and junior reed, and I eat. Tony Rebel, we say, I eat. Musical youth, I'll say, I eat. You see, I'll say, we say, shalom, I'll say, I eat. You know what I say? And the, the youth, them just keep on coming on. You promotion never sign an artist, you know, because we just come to make you go out in the world. Most of them never remember back and all of that, but still, we're still there with a new generation now. So from 1979, we go to England, we established the Lovers Rock again. Okay, people, this is Lovers Rock, right? We give them. I watched you as you hurry by me, ooh, baby, on your way, going to school. Oh, my darling, and I'm always there to run behind you, ooh. With my true love ever to remind you, and it's true. We're both together in this love affair. You and me, baby. Makes no difference who you are. No, no, no. You could be rich or you could be poor. Well, I know love is sure to come your way. Yeah. Someday that start up the love attracting in England, the people will tell you. People just line up to buy that tune there by a million. Then the investigator, then they have Carl Thompson, they have, you know, Sandra Cross, they have Louisa Marx, and then they have, you know, man like Winston Reedy, you know, you have man like Trevor Walters, you have Matthew Priest, man. You know, 15, 16, 70, what a group of names, some of them you can't remember, but remember, man. It was just a nice party in England. I'm thanking all those people for making me so. The time that I spent here was so wonderful, and they appreciate me so much. And without those people, I wouldn't be nothing in music right now. 